As you know, Dr. Phil has had some crazies on his show, like this chick. There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that was something. Along with this girl, we named four other crazy Dr. Phil guests on part one of this list, which we'll have a link for down in the description for you to check out after this video. And you guys love part one so much that we are bringing you a part two. Hey guys, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 5, I'm Court McGinley. Before we get started, I want to know, what's your favorite TV show? Let me know your answers down in the comments. And one more thing before we get started, make sure you show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. All right, without further ado, let's get started on our list of the top five craziest people on the Dr. Phil show part two. Starting off at number 5, Mama June. Yeah, had to put her on this list because someone who did what she did would have to be crazy. Some of you might be confused and not even be aware that Mama June, mother of Honey Boo Boo, was on the Dr. Phil show back in 2014. She was on the show to discuss the fact that she was starting to date an old boyfriend named Mark Daniels. The problem with this was that Mark molested her eldest daughter, Anna, for 6 months when she was just 8 years old. And despite all of this, June started to date him once he was out of jail and allowed him to sleep in the same bed as 8 year old Alana, aka Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, that just makes no sense. He molested one of her children years prior, and now she was giving him that chance again. Luckily, the relationship didn't last for too long, but it's still a really messed up thing to do. In at number four, Sugar Babies. Now here we have a mother-daughter duo who created a family business. For those of you who don't know, Sugar Babies are young women who like to date rich men and get paid for it. So you might say, hmm, that sounds like a prostitute. Well, Sugar Babies claim the difference is that they don't need to have sex with their date as where prostitutes do. 26 year old Riley went on a Dr. Phil show as a proud Sugar Baby. She told Dr. Phil how she charges her companions $2,000 a day or $5,000 for a week. She claims to have never had sex with any of her sugar daddies, but will occasionally strip for them. And the craziest part is she actually actually convinced her mother to become one as well. And the two will even double date with their sugar daddies. They even discussed one time where they stripped down together and whipped the men they were with. Okay, so you're good You're good with this, right? You're okay with this? I'm okay with this. Yeah, that's some uh, very bizarre mother-daughter bonding. At number three, Burke Ramsey. This name might sound familiar to you as Burke is the older brother of former child pageant queen John Benet Ramsey. She was murdered in 1996 at the age of six, and her murder is still unsolved. At the time of this murder, Burke was only nine years old. He was even at one point considered a suspect. He went on to the Dr. Phil show to discuss the morning his six-year-old sister's body was found. This interview really confused a lot of people and kind of concern them, as the whole time during the interview, Burke had this smirk on his face. It's just not an expression you would expect to see on someone who is talking about their 6 year old sister's murder. Yes, it's been 22 years after the fact, but it's still awkward. This was his first interview since the murder, and after the interview was aired, he received a lot of backlash, and he said he would never do another TV interview again. After the episode aired, Dr. Phil said the reason Burke had the smirk on his face was because he suffers with social anxiety, and that was his coping mechanism. But regardless, people still verbally attacked him for it. In our number 2 spot, Ashley. On an episode back in 2016, a woman named April and her husband Nathan went on the show to call out a woman named Ashley for digitally kidnapping their two twin girls. Yes, as weird as the sound, this actually happened. Apparently since 2012, Ashley has digitally took hundreds of pictures of the twin girls off of their parents social media pages and claimed the pictures to be her daughters on her own social media page. She even posted pictures of a nursery she had set up in her house, and in the nursery there were even framed pictures of the girls. Ashley kept denying that she did this the entire episode, but then there was just so much proof that she had to admit it in the end. Ashley even went as far as to stalk the couple and found out where they lived. She apologized to April and Nathan, but her actions left this family feeling vulnerable and terrified for their lives. I really don't mean you guys harm. I really don't. Can you just imagine that? A stranger having pictures of your kids in her house? Yeah, that's very, very creepy. And coming in our number one spot, Aneska. Two years ago, a 12 year old girl named Aneska came on to the Dr. Phil show due to her outbursts of rage that she had been experiencing since the age of three. She admits to chasing her siblings around with a knife and physically and verbally abusing her parents. She even revealed that at the age of six, she took her pet hamster and beat it to death with a flashlight. I remember where I did it. It was in the living room. Was he smashed? Yeah, he's 
he was gone. And what's even more shocking is that she then revealed that she took a nest of birds and the voices in her head told her that if she didn't kill the baby birds, then they would do something bad to her family. So she killed them. She says that violence makes her feel comfortable. Clearly this is a very troubled girl. And there you have it, that's the list of the top 5 craziest people on the Dr. Phil show part 2. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. Let me know if you would like part 3 down in the comments, there's lots more crazy people on Dr. Phil out there and I will catch you in the next one.